Good morning, it's vlog 513. Kathy joining me today, or I'm joining you. You are, because it was my idea. Well, there it is. And what are we doing? I don't know, I got a flash of inspiration. I decided that we should go downtown. Uh, not downtown Malibu, downtown Los Angeles. Downtown LA, Yeah. where we may get down there and be seriously sorry because this is a shopping day, one of the last before Christmas. So mm -hmm. we'll probably be with everyone. Yeah, I think pretty much uh, a, at least half of Los Angeles will be down there. Right. And we will too. Yep. You know, but we are looking for some specific things on this last, it's really last shopping day in LA for us because we're leaving for San Francisco tomorrow. Yeah, and we didn't have anything to do today, so I thought, well, let's just dump, jump right into the middle of things. Yeah, we can dump and jump. Dump? I didn't mean to say dump. <laughs> I have to get a pillow. A pillow, and we're looking for something for uh, our niece Alexa, which we have an idea, but we can't mention it because she's probably going to watch she this. Watches, yeah. yeah. No, so Isla's not going to watch, so I can show you. Yeah, yeah. But Alexa, if you're watching, you're not going to see what your gift is. Don't even try. Don't even ask about it. That's right. All right. See? Done shopping. We're gonna go to Zinc Cafe for lunch because Kathy is starting to crash. Aren't you, Kathy? Yes, I am, Tim. <laughs> Didn't you just see that online this morning? I saw it on Instagram this morning, that little bear. I can't believe it. I mean, I didn't plan this, but I saw it on Instagram and I showed it to Tim, and now we're here. So this morning, Kathy shows me a photo of that little bear on Instagram. Tells me about this little cafe called Blue Bottle, which is right there. And then we end up there. <laughs> didn't even try, it just kind of happened. Sunroof. First time I opened that. Oh, yeah. 
We were downtown and uh, we made our way back up to Malibu, dropped off the dogs, and now we gotta go in town and get some supplies for our trip tomorrow. Yep, otherwise we're not gonna get to eat, we're not gonna have our presents, so. That would suck. We have to finish a few things. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. What do you, what do you like about this car so far, the Dodge Durango 2017? I can't remember all the names. Uh, it's a Durango. Uh, um, it's huge. Yeah, it's a beast. It's a good long hauler, you know, like a Vegas car, but gas mileage is not all that great, you know? So you're gonna be kind of slurping quite a bit, guzzling, as they say. Uh, it's a muscle truck, so that's what it does. You're gonna have to take a shortcut there. <laughs> Can we just take a shortcut to Vegas, please? We're not going to Vegas. We're I'm going not. To San Francisco. I know that. I was trying to make a point, which completely got lost. Let's reevaluate. Driving to San Francisco, there's going to be some gas stops. Which is I'm why just saying, we need to take a shortcut. Shortcut to San Francisco, which would be what? Well, that's up to ways. Uh, the five freeway. I'm gonna take the five. Really fun. You can go get vegan cream cheese. Oh, joy. You know it hurts! You know, our camera me hitting you with the... Uh... Word to the wise. Oh, if, you, love. if you ever go shopping with this lady, why is it that my head is so huge and your head is so tight? Because you got a big head! No, you got a little pea brain. <laughs> Don't ever buy wrapping paper because she'll just beat you with it to within an inch of your life. Oh. Uh-huh. That works. We're done now, babe. Don't come around no more. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry. A little allergic around Christmas time, so I gotta put on my Christmas spectacles. Christmas, Christmas. That's not a word. Anyway, whatever. Again, the most interesting thing about today, uh, I gotta, I gotta go over this one more time because I don't think I explained it fully. The most interesting thing of the day is that this morning, Kathy showed me a photo of that honey bear on Instagram. And it wasn't anything other than, ah, oh, here's a kind of a cool piece of street art someone had painted on, the, on the, the curb. And then a little while later, she told me about this, this place called uh, Blue Bottle, which is a new cafe that opened up in downtown LA. She'd never been this before and she just, she heard about this. This is not something that she had been to. She didn't really even know it was where it was. But then that gave her the idea to head down in, into downtown LA to go shopping and, and do some of those things. And while we were down there, she started to lose a little bit of energy and we said, oh, maybe we should get something to eat. Where's the place we could go that would be really close? And that brought in the idea of going to Zinc Cafe, which we've gone to many times before. We drove over there and we parked the car and as we're walking across the street there at our feet is the little honey bear you could say that you know so what this doesn't really mean anything but it does mean something it means something very interesting and i want you to think about this because this is how everything works now there's no guarantee that if you think about something that something's going to manifest it has to be thought of in a particular way a certain way when you think about something when you see something and you give love towards it in that like oh this is really cool i'm digging this thing this is really awesome what a great car what a great uh, piece of art or what a great coat or whatever it is that you focus on suddenly it puts your mind in a certain place if you let it go when it's at that high and you just drop it and go about your day things will rearrange and the universe knows that it'll put right back to you what you were thinking about and that begs the question is if you're aware of this how could you put this to the test for things that you may really want in your life like let's say a brand new boyfriend or a husband or maybe a big load of cash maybe your kids to stop you know doing bad things and, and getting in trouble all the time the point is you can use it for anything 
Once again, it's a simple process. You have to think in a certain way, to be aware of how you're thinking, what thoughts are going down, because those are the thoughts that you're giving out into the world, and those are the things that are gonna be coming back to you. If you wanna know whether you're thinking good thoughts or bad thoughts, just look at the way your life is. If everything's a shambles, then chances are your thoughts are a shambles too. So the thought for the day before we head to San Francisco is to make sure that I leave you guys thinking some good thoughts. Now this is going to be the last vlog that I'm going to be able to do until we come back on Christmas Day. We literally come back on Christmas Day, so there'll be a vlog on the 26th. There will be no vlogs in between now and the 26th. Sorry about that, but you go up to this, this particular hotel, the internet just stinks. I will be filming the whole time there, so I'll have successive vlogs from San Francisco. It's going to be really cool, very Christmassy, all kinds of neat stuff. But once again, let me say very much to you guys, have a tremendous holiday, a fantastic Christmas, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, you celebrate Hanukkah or some other strange sort of, whatever it is you celebrate, make sure it's a phenomenal one. Make sure that you give love out into the world. Make sure you just have a good time and commit to the fact that this is about giving. Give to those you love, give to those that you, you don't even know, just give. And especially, give love to my really cool glasses. You guys be good for the holidays, be awesome. And then only awesome will come. There was something else I was gonna say. I, I, I can't really think of anything else. So we'll see you guys later.